There's no really neat words to describe my style. I'm just a little baddie, like, it's so simple. I'm Jasmine Bean, period. <laughs> What's up bros, it's Jasmine Bean and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do my makeup. I'm gonna do my foundation first. I'm gonna use the lightest shade because I wanna look really pale. Looks like I have a beard. I'm just gonna like smother it all over my face. I started getting into makeup when I was around 11 or 12. It was inspired by my dolls at the time. And then I started getting into drag culture, but really soon got bored of it and kind of merged more into just my own thing. I set my foundation with powder as most people do. So I'm just using like this cheap one that I bought like across the road. I live in a religious area in London. And with that comes a lot of misunderstanding from people and obviously a lot of stares. I mean, I get stares in general, but this is like very extreme. I feel like people see me as something really dangerous and evil. A lot of mothers will put like their hands over like their kids' eyes so like they don't have to look at me if I'm like in a look. Oh, and really I'm just like a little baddie wanting to go and buy some food. The next step, I'm gonna do my nose. I'm gonna use a couple of different colors, but the first one is gonna be this like lilac-y pink. I'm actually gonna take my finger to go in with this. A nose is a really huge like feature of like the human face. So I just wanted to kind of get rid of that element. I'm inspired by all creatures, honestly. I'm so fascinated by how many there are. With humans, you only got like a couple types and they're all just not as good. Creatures, you have like reptiles, you got some fishies, you got mammals, you got gerbils. I have two chinchillas. I really want an axolotl and a snail, but I'm kind of busy right now. The next stuff I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an outline of my nose and do the lines going up, out and down. That will create like a kind of, I guess, cat-like mouth. I feel like by adding all these different elements and like different ears and different features, I'm kind of making my own hybrid creature. I'm really close with my grandma. She's from the Philippines, so I get a lot of my inspiration from like Filipino folklore. That's where actually the name Aswang that I have in my Instagram bio and I use as a term for myself often is from. And Aswang is like Filipino folk, different types of like really scary creatures that were like stealing people's babies and hiding in trees. And I don't know, it kind of just embodies what I'd like my like character to be like. And also it has like some of my culture in it and where I'm from. And I think that's very important to tie into it. I think that really gets rid of the whole human shape of the nose. Cult Candy, my makeup line is owned by me and my mom. She was in a band called Fluffy that actually toured with Marilyn Manson and the Sex Pistols and she was drumming pregnant with me. She loves Tim Burton like me. She collects toys like me. She showed me like all of my favorite music to this day. I'm gonna do my next step now. I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow and I'm gonna go in with both of these palettes. I'm gonna do mascara, so I'm gonna put it like how you regularly would, and then I'm gonna go crazy on the bottom. This is the number one body step, emotional body. I cry a lot. I used to do like a black smoky eye for a lot of my looks, and then I just got so fed up with it turning into this that I just started doing this, and I think it looks quite nice. The next thing I'm gonna do is apply some blush to the outside of my mouth. So I'm gonna do like this big smile mouth that's like, you'll see. My dream is to meet Tim Burton. He's just like a genius. There's a book that I got when I was younger and it definitely influenced me a lot. There is a character in here that my mom always used to say looked like me. When I was younger, I made a clay version um, of this and sent it to him, but I don't know if he got it or like cared. So Tim Burton, if you're watching this, 
I don't know, check your mailbox because it might still be there. Next thing we're gonna do is contact lenses. I am gonna wear these Scalera lenses. I just feel like they really change the look up. There's so many different like options. Oh my God, oh. It doesn't make me squeamish, but it definitely is uncomfortable having a big chunk of plastic in your eye, but it is worth it. Now I'm gonna do the lashes. I'm gonna cut them up a little bit to make them more separated and chunky looking as it's just a little bit too like elegant for me right now. My last thing I'm gonna do is use this and go in, in the corner of my eyes to just create that pop. So that's my makeup done and now I'm gonna go get ready and go to Pizza Express with my best friend Salvia and my grandma. How is my grandma? She is a bad bitch. She's amazing. The world revolves around her. It's, it's, it's an honor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you look gorgeous. My best friend is Salvia. I just have never like been so in sync with someone. Can I have some of that stupid idiot pie? Everything to us is just like a joke, so it's really fun being around her. We're constantly encouraging each other's ideas and weirdness. Like totally well. That like totally like well. <laughs> It's definitely empowering being in a group of friends that all dress as extreme as each other. People in general need to be exposed to this type of thing and realize that these people are not evil, people are not different from you. They're just period. Bye, sissies. Bye, baddies. Bye, divas. I like your makeup. Thank you. So nice.